Hello guys and welcome to another video, this time I will show you 3 Guild Wars that I did this week and well, I am in a farming guild, we are a G1 farming guild, we are, we have one monster defenses through all the week, we never change them, unless we are C3 on, on, on Saturday, but that almost never happens, so I will find the, the full defenses here, because we, we usually fight easy opponents because well actually it's to prevent the concert wars from G2, G3 so I will show you the most interesting fights that I can find and these tactics can help you clear mostly any level of guild wars you know there are lots of defenses that can be covered and there are lots of defenses that can be illusioned so guys uh, these are the rooms of my monsters and well I, I, I must tell you that I have two full copper teams so if I lose one of, the, of my copper team members it's no problem I have a replacement for it and well here as you can see it's an easy clip because when you have three monsters that don't boost their attack bars you will most likely get the first turn and even though they are tanky my monsters deal lots of damage and I use the 38% the, the crit rate lead from, from Charlotte so that I build illusion with a lot of power but with 62% crit rate so that illusion is exclusive to be used with Charlotte and since Charlotte now boosts your attack bar after doing her third skill then it's almost impossible for the opponent to cut me so my Lucian can be slow it's plus 72 or something so guys well I won't tell you how my cover team works you know you saw it by yourself now the rules in my guild are to go plus 6 and to go green yellow and red in that order so I will try to find the plus 3, plus 2 and plus 1 that have the greenest bars and if I have to go plus 3, plus 3 then I will go plus 0 simple math there well up there it's incredibly easy to, to cover those you know unless that Harmonia has over 46k HP then this will be an easy copper doser and for the one below I think that my newly summoned Bulberg can actually get the bomb from, from Ciara because he will have immunity and then Ciara will do nothing and I will be able to easily kill the Ciara and then I will dispose of the Perna because Perna will attack my tankiest wind unit which is my Triana so that's the tactic I chose and I think that strategy can work for everyone and if you don't have Bulwark and you have a arena, a simple arena, you can use Rina instead of Bulwark. Those defenses that depend on, on single target elemental nukes, then they are easy to trick, you know? Unless they have a random defense break like for example an Orion and here we lost our copper, no problem. We have another copper in case we need it. Now the <laughs> the busted dirt. So I was expecting her to buff and I was expecting to use the first skill of, of my Volberg so I could reduce the DHP of, of Ciara and maybe kill her in one turn. But no problem, my burner proc. And as you can see, that Perna isn't doing anything to my Triana. Okay, now... Th there's a choice to make here. And I think that killing the Ciara is the, the thing that will help us the most in this fight. After killing Ciara, it's almost like you can auto it. Okay, now let's move on to the Perna. The Perna doesn't have much HP because half of its HP was really covered by the 4000 shield from, from Bastard. So that means that the overall HP of that monster is very low. 
Okay, now we cleanse the burner and that's it. Okay, it's a win. There are many chances to lose against this kind of defense, guys. Maybe, maybe if instead, okay, if instead of the Perna, they, if instead of the Bastard, actually, they used an Orion, well, then maybe I will have to use my specifically, my specific team to kill Sierra Rhinos. Which I may use later. I will see if I find a defense like that. Okay, there is one. There is one. That team, even though Orion is tricky, that team can be killed by my Camun Grogo. Grego, sorry. Grogo, yes, Grogo. <laughs> and Perna. This team will win 9 out of 10 times because there is one time out of 10 that the violent runes will do their thing and Perna will go crazy and Orion will go crazy and well, you know what happens. And for the one above, you see, these kind of tanky teams don't work. If you don't have Charlotte, you can use any AoE damage dealer that is tuned to your, to your Bastet or to your to your water mage, I don't remember her name, the one that does your attack power and defense and your attack power by 20%, Megan, Megan, okay, I forgot her name, I remember, if you have a Megan and you have your team tuned, well, you can use an AoE damage dealer, the, your Megan and Illusion. So, and if you don't have any of those, then you can cover those or that team easily. You go for the for the beast monk, and then you those are the panda, and then eventually you will kill Jen. As you can see, my my Sierra Killer team worked perfectly fine, guys. Worked perfectly fine. And now we are moving on to the next one. Well, here we are, and now we'll have to pick the greenest guys and make it plus six. So, for the one above, we can use the copper team. You see how many defenses can be covered, and there you, we can use our 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 new RTA team, which is the Lauren Birdie Hile Rauk. However, the runes are still not ready for RTA, so... Well, here we simply dozer the, the mermaid and then we will copper the Jan and we will get rid of the panda later. As you can see guys, my main copper has will runes. It's very very important to have will runes on your copper too, not only on your dozer, because that will lead, let you choose which of both monsters goes, for, goes first. So, let's say there is a, a Juno in the opponent defense, then you can choose to go Copper on the Juno and then be unaffected by, let's say, a Jan that wants to will provoke your, your Copper. So it's very, very important to have will rules on Copper. And always try to deal 60k plus damage with your Copper. Now we lost immensity, we don't care because we have another immensity. And well, that panda could have gone crazy, but it would have been so, so, so much bad RNG for me. Now here guys, this will be awesome. When there is no threat on the opponent team, you can use this team. You see, they, they won't do anything. We got rid of the threat, the reviver actually, the only kind of threat that team had. And now we can get rid of everything else. We, we will prevent them from taking a turn most likely. Okay, the, he took a turn, however, he is dead. He's so dead. Okay, another turn for Raok. And we won. 
easy free to play team that can win you lots of wars. When people don't have attack bar boosters, guys, these kind of teams can wreck them unless they have heavy water. Okay, up there, up there we can replace our our immensity for the backup immensity I have. He is fairly fast. He's fast enough. Those threats won't have over 270 speed. And for the one below, whoa, that's an interesting team. And by interesting, I mean it's a very, very bad team. And we can Lucian it. Yes, you can Lucian like us. If you have two AoE damage dealers that multi-hit, then we will most likely hit twice and non-glancing hit on Laika and that will be enough to kill it with the other four hits. And since Bastet will provide you with a shield, the revenge from Laika, even though it's a vampire unit, will not heal it for much. Here guys, you always take out the, the Chandra first, because the Chandra can use his thing on the other monsters and well the, sh the shield the, the, the hug from from Chandra and well that will prevent you from dealing damage so get rid of Chandra first and that's it it doesn't matter if the other monster is a Ritesh Ritesh can take cannot take on on, on your full copper team now, actually guys, if, if a Ritesh goes a gazillion times and heals itself and defense breaks everyone, well then maybe he can take on you, but well you know, sometimes you can't fight the RNG, so I say 99 out of 100 times you will win with this team. And okay, up there, Lucian, down there. Down there, that's an interesting comp. That's an interesting comp. So, they have a, uh, a stripper, they have a tag bar boosting, and they have a heavy hitting damage dealer that heals, and the stripper also heals every turn. However, they don't have immunity. And they don't have a defense break unless, unless Vasta derps and defense breaks first, which that derp will be great for them because if I don't have will, then they will most likely one shot something, and uh, the stripper there can prevent me from doing skills because their second skill does the silence for two turns, so. Here we can go with a tanky team that cannot be killed. Turn one. And let's say the damage leader is a fire monster. So if we were to use a wind monster there, nah, no, no need for wind monster. I can use a pony. I can use a pony. So with this team, full water, the Perna can't kill me. If they want to defense break me, I have immunity from my pony and I have a defense buff from my pony. So, even if the stripper treats me, I will get immunity every turn as well. So, we will see, I don't think we can lose that one, and we have to get rid of the stripper first. Okay, up there was very, very easy. Like every fight you saw with this team, it's very useful, especially in G1 ranks. And okay, Bolberg is full. Oh, that stun was good. That stun was good. Let's see if Molon can stun. Okay, he can. And now we can defense break. Defense break, defense pass. Sorry. We can buff defense and. Okay, that's cool. Now we get rid of the stripper. Once we kill the stripper, it's GG. Bye bye. My Molon is on vampire runes, so. That is one of my recent pulls, you know, it's not even full skilled. Ok, 
okay. I, I should actually press auto here, right? Okay, sorry this is boring, we have already won this. Now burn and gone, and the bastard will be gone soon. Okay. We want that one as well. This is a very, very useful team. And well, we are done with this war and we are moving on to the next war. And final war of the week. Okay, guys, we are here. And okay, the name of the guild is Price RNG. Oh my god, that defense is. Okay, the one above is like begging you. It's begging you to bring a tanky wind unit. They are. You should never, never, ever build a single element defense. Never. It's so easy to take on, especially if it doesn't have AoE attacks. Okay. We do this, and this should be easy, very, very easy. We get rid of Bella, Bella will buff, and give my Bulwark a full stack, yep, thank you Bella, doesn't matter how many times you go, with a defense buff, my 50k HP. Bear can't lose. Okay, we have almost destroyed the Vela. Let's hit harder and kill that Vela. Okay, now we get rid of whatever we want. We have already won this. But that defense has no chance. I know they are very good units, okay? And I know people may, may not know how to, how to make a very good defense. However, if you had those units, I, I, I bet you can do much better. You have free to play monsters like Jan, so take out that, that Rakan and get a Jan in there. At least try to disrupt the opponent, you know? bad thing is that my bulwark is healing my bear so basically I, I cannot do it thing another boring out of fight guys sorry okay we're done and this one should be quite easy. The only threat in there is Theomars. Because you never know where Theomars will direct its hit. However, I will glance the Theo. It doesn't even have will burns. So let's say Theomars can kill one of my monsters. He cannot proc enough to kill everything. If that defense had an attack bar booster instead of the Chasun, then it will be decent, okay? 
And well, this one up there, okay. Okay, for the one below, I can use the Charlotte Bastard Illusion team. For the one up there, I can go with Chilling. Yeah, I can go with Chilling. And these are its runes. Nothing crazy, I almost never use it. And as the final pick, maybe uh, Bolberg will be fine. Yes, you know, guys, Bolberg can reduce the 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 HP of Laika and bypass its passive. You know, so I can reduce the HP of Laika to half with my Bolberg. Even though Laika cannot be hit by more than, than 30% of its health. So, okay, that Wusa is very, very slow. It must be a violent Wusa, and well, this is the good thing of, of getting G1 Wars, you know? You get these kind of runes on the opponent monsters. So, now Laika gets half of its HP down, now I get Bulwark to attack again, try to break the shield, and we steal the boss from Laika, we reduce its HP, once we, are, we get rid of Laika there is no threat there, so we won. We won. That's it, guys. Now we can press hold on, on the Galleon. Oh, man. I do it on the Galleon because I think the Galleon will be the less tanky one. So... It doesn't matter. Because both Galleon and Wusa will attack Kamun and they cannot bypass the shield of Kamun. Okay, this is taking long, however, we have already won. Okay guys, the main point of this video is to show you this Charlotte comp and how you can use a Volberg in different comps in order to overcome different styles of defenses. Because most of you already know what, what a cover team does and most of you already have one or two like me. Having two cover teams is very useful for the siege war. Well now let's find our final opponent of the week. And well, we will take the the strongest defense here. You know they, they are all red, so, red. So okay, there is a guy using a uh, Kamun Chasun and Theomars. This one seems okay. okay. Okay, okay, okay. That, that, that will be too easy. Okay, we will go for this one. We will copper that defense because you already know you can copper the Chasun Theo Camon defenses, and this will be a walk in the park. Unless that Chasun is a copper trap, which is not. Okay, we're done. This is our last word of the week, so... 
no need to set the monster and well you know how this ends right Perna will may survive my Lucian may not survive my Lucian but it doesn't matter because we can kill the Perna unless she procs like crazy if we defense break we won well even though we didn't defense break we won it doesn't matter well guys that's it that's it well i hope you enjoyed this and let me know if you want me to make more guild war videos but you know i need a g1 guild so they won't be so interesting and there won't be a lot of challenges you know that's our rank and that's how we roll guys thank you very much for watching this and see you in the next one bye